Your father and I have spoken about your fiancé, Mary. We believe he'll be an honorable husband for you. We'll set a date for the marriage then. That way, I'm sure one of my children will give me grandchildren. I understand your thirst for knowledge, Jonathan, and your father and I are proud of it. But you are not that young anymore, my son. When will I meet your soulmate? You can ascribe my romantic tendencies to my French origins if you want, Aubrey. But I'll never cease to believe in a match made in heaven, my beloved. I really wish you could meet her mother. You... Ah, oh, there it is. Harmo nil for severe anxiety and nervous disposition. Thanks for nothing, old fart. I'll get a good price for your precious pills. Damn it! Why is this so difficult every time? That is better. That is better. I will make it through one more night. We should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Anywhere. Anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange. And we are alive. For now, yes. But for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. All right. Where would we go? You don't mind if I search your pockets? Do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir, so it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir, and I thank you for your generous donation. Be careful, Carol. You're wasting good food here. Ye yes, Mother. I said be careful, child. <coughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mummy has been so clumsy again. No, th that's okay. 
it won't bleed for long. You're so pale. Are you feeling sick? Do you need to see a doctor? No, 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 I'm not. I'm fine. I already saw the doctor last week. Don't be silly. You must see a doctor. Just don't tell him how clumsy your mummy is, all right? I love you so much, my baby. I love you too, mother. You make me sick, you juicy, warm treat. Damn it! Oh my, what have we got here? A dead rat. Oh, so gross. So tempting. Eternal life. Through the blood of the lesser beasts, he said. Oh, dear God, help me. Save me, for I can't stand what I've become. You still want more from Christina? When we spent the night together, my wallet went missing. Are you calling me a thief? I don't have your stupid wallet. I know you. You're a nice girl. Can't we solve this amicably? No, I don't think so. And if you think you know me just because we shared the bed together, you're just a lousy and arrogant journalist. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Don't forget to count each bullet you fire. <gasps> you told me that already. <laughs> nice shot. You learn quickly. Pointing an empty gun could be a fatal mistake. It's easier when I picture the bastard's face. Don't you think Miss Fishburne is nice to us? But I always have the feeling she's hiding something. 
for now, you're still the only real friend I have, Jack. 